Okay, welcome back to another part of my uh, sexy machine build. Uh, I installed the floorboard there. I don't know if you guys can read it. Uh, and I'm installing the pedals now. And of course, stupid me thinking that I had everything covered. Well, I didn't. Because I'm going to have a spring here to pull the gas pedal and the brake pedal obviously on the other side back but I forgot to put a stopper here so I'm gonna think of something here what to do I don't know if I should just drill a hole and uh, put a stopper here or just weld something to it anyway I screwed up on that Okay, I went ahead and decided to uh, just put a bolt through there, which will work out fine. I've never worked on one of these engines before, so I'm going to remove this air filter. I actually got a performance air filter for it. i got to figure out a way where to hook up the throttle. Uh, supposedly this is the throttle but it doesn't move so I have no clue sorry about the noise in the background it's the air conditioner in the house uh, yeah I, I need to figure out how this throttle works and I really can't see anything in here so like this oh there it goes boy that's not good that freaking thing is seized <coughs> Anyway, let me remove the air filter and I'm going to see what's going on there and then I can run the cable for the gas pedal. Okay, I went ahead and removed the air filter. Uh, I know the cable is going to come in through, through here and hook up here. But this thing is just so stiff. There's no way this is supposed to be like this. So, it's got a little spring here, it's supposed to return it back, but this thing, the, it's stiff. So, I'm going to try releasing this nut over here a little bit and see if that helps. If not, then I'm going to have to figure out some way to uh, make this come back. Like if I push the swallow right now, it'll get stuck. There's no way this is going to return. Anyway, let me try to figure this out. Okay, I went ahead and I loosened this nut off. But this thing still doesn't return properly. And I, if I loosen it off anymore, this is going to get too wobbly. So what I might have to do, see it doesn't return, it doesn't return all the way. Uh, what I might have to do is figure out a way to get a spring somewhere unless I let go of it like if I let go of it quick it'll return but if I let it go of it slow see it gets stuck right in the center there anyway I also put my uh, performance air filter on I don't like this net I'd rather have the blue plus I don't, I don't want to be advertising gold power sports they didn't do anything for me so I'd rather have like the blue and I'm sure I'm not gonna harm the engine if I just leave it like that I don't know what the net is gonna do anyway but so yeah I'm gonna hook up the cable now and um, see how it works but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to get a spring in here somewhere okay I got the cable hooked up here I still don't like this, but uh, I routed it through the eyes that I had welded. So it's going to be like hidden underneath the go-kart once the panel is here. And I got it through here. Now the only thing is, I have to figure out a way to attach it to here. And the best thing that I think can think of is get a quarter inch bolt, 
drill a hole close to the to the head of it enough for the wire to come through and then fish the wire through and then once I uh, put a nut on the other side and tighten it up and it'll hold the cable together okay so I went ahead and I made the front fender brackets uh, I welded them to the spindle here so as when the wheel turns the fender will uh, sorry when the wheel turns the fender will also turn with the with the wheel and then the fender will sit on here like this and then I have my wheel which I'm gonna try to put on with one hand there you go there's the wheel and the fender will go on like this And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint the fenders now and I'm going to put it on and I'll show you uh, how it came out. This is ridiculous because it's only like spitting, been spitting rain here in, in the morning and I haven't even gotten to ride the go-kart yet and the exhaust is already creating surface rust. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and paint the fenders and I'll show you the final product. Okay, there's my front fenders, both sides. As you can see, I'm going to show you, as I turn the wheel, the fenders are also going to turn, which is cool. I like that. I think the go-kart is coming out pretty good. Um... I'm gonna leave this video here. The weather sucks, it's drizzling, it's been drizzling all day and everything. On the next video, I'm gonna see if I can get somebody to help me um, uh, take the gold cart down, put it on the ground. I'm gonna start the engine. I still have to change the, the needle from the kit that I bought with the filter and the, and the exhaust. But I don't want to do that yet until I run the engine a, a, a bit. Make sure that it runs nice and then if anything goes wrong with the needle, then I'll know that it was the needle. Or jet, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, yeah. So, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.